Hi, my name is Amos Patrick and I'm one of the developers for Cyber Anatomy. Um, and in this video I'm just going to kind of give a, a quick tour of, uh, of our program and kind of show you the ways that you can use Cyber Anatomy to uh, learn about and explore the human body. So, generally the, the program Cyber Anatomy is used to, uh, to just kind of get around the human body and, and explore it and learn it and figure out how it's all put together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by just loading up uh, some, some anatomy that we could look at and then kind of demonstrate some of the tools that we have available. So to start with, I guess I'll just load up um, maybe the skeleton of the left upper limb. So here it's, it's uh, downloading the needed components and um, now it's been uploaded and here it is. So what you can see is, um, well, here's the, here's the skeleton of the upper limb of, a, of the human and uh, I can rotate my view around to anything. Um, I'm not constrained to a particular view plane or anything like that. I can pan it, um, put it anywhere I want, and then I can also zoom in on it by rolling. So uh, let me zoom out. So that's kind of our general camera controls. Uh, those are hosted here in the navigate palette over here. Um, we also have several dissection tools uh, that allow you to kind of get into it and um, and learn more about the anatomy and, and to kind of pull it apart. So one of the most powerful things about our software is, is um, that it, it's all individual objects. So for instance, I can take uh, use our peel tool and I can grab different body parts and uh, pull them away and pull them off to the side and learn about them. Um, let me go ahead and turn on my, my label here and you can see that if uh, this, this label allows me to hover over an object and it tells me what that particular object is called. So here's the uh, some fascia and here's um, kind of the articular capsule of the left joint. Uh, I can quickly pull everything back together by using the implode tool and um, I can hide things. So if I wanted to hide these items or hide these ligaments down here I can do that. Let me go ahead and um, just unhide all these things here. Um, what else can we do? Well, let's say we want to learn more about the scapula here. So let me pull it off to the side. So we'll set it over here and then uh, let me uh, turn off this tool and we'll kind of center in on this guy. Zoom in. One of the interesting things about the scapula is it's got a bunch of landmarks on it that are important to learn about. And I can identify these landmarks by using our landmark tool or our, our pin. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll turn on this tool and I'll click on this thing. And you can see what's happened is uh, it's popped open a bunch of, or it's, it's showing a bunch of uh, essentially landmarks or pins stuck into that particular, into the scapula in this case. So this is the superior angle, for instance, and here's the uh, inferior, ang inferior angle, and here's the uh, medial border. We've also pseudo-colored the, uh, the bones to show where we have uh, some insertion and origin points for various muscles. Um, if I wanted to kind of mark these these objects or these landmarks or this uh, a little more permanently I can use our mark tool here so this allows me to say I can mark the left scapula let's say I want to mark the superior angle and then this little notch here and then maybe the um, lateral border and what's uh, interesting to note about these is these these labels are all in 3D now or, or in 3D space so we can rotate it around and if I turn off my pins those things are still there and they're also stuck to the object. So if I take and I, I drag the object around, those things stick to it. So let me use the stick tool to place this particular object back where it goes there. So and then I'll uh, I'll uh, zoom in on this guy here. Whoops, let me get this tool on. I'll bring this back over here, and I can um, bring it around and look at it again. All right, so I'm going to get rid of all these marks. Um, just delete them all there. Uh, what else can we do? So maybe we'll just kind of demonstrate some more of the anatomy we can show. Um, so we'll go back to the uh, to the arm again. Let's let's turn on the muscles for that. So uh, again, it's streaming all the needed stuff here. This is running over the internet, um, and all you need is a web browser to look at it. So here's the muscles. Um, again, these are all peelable. We can take them all away, um, and then we can um, stick them back on one by one if we'd like. Um, we can make them transparent. Um, and so let me kind of zoom in on that a little bit there. There we are. Let's uh, let's turn on the circulatory too. So here we are. The circulatory is getting streamed in. 
uh, zoom back in on that spot there you can see how the vessels all line up all right let me turn that back off uh, we'll turn that make everything opaque again and uh, we'll just kind of recenter our view all right so uh, we've got some other things we can do over here uh, up here we can search for particular objects I won't really demonstrate that right now one of the the interesting interfaces we have is the imaging interface so what I'll do is I'll turn this on and uh, you can see it adds a bunch of uh, green planes to our scene and that uh, gives us a little a little thing here so I'll just set this guy over here kind of expand this out and what we can do is we can select one of these planes here and uh, it loads up an image set or a, a CT or an MRI scan um, that we've got pre or we've got in our simulation and then by dragging this I can um, kind of show the different slices as we as we cut through the brain I can look in a different plane so here's one of of a different plane of the head and you can see I can kind of drag it up and down another interesting interface is our uh, visible human data set uh, this is uh, we we've been fortunate to add uh, all the the data from the visible human project into our simulation and um, created a nice little interface for that there's quite a bit of data associated with the visible human stuff so it does take uh, a few seconds for it to add um, again this is streaming over the internet so you don't really need to install anything on your local computer all you have to do is uh, install the plugin for your browser and, uh, and then browse to, browse to the appropriate site so once again we get a plane here and uh, what we can do is we can drag this plane up and down through the body and you can see over here this is that particular um, slice of, of the body so let me set this over here and um, pull this a little bigger and then we can also zoom in on that we've tiled these things so we can get some real nice high-res imaging uh, of this particular slice of the body. Let me zoom in a little more. Actually, let me zoom in all the way. So here's our highest resolution. You can see there's quite a bit of detail. Let me uh, make this a little bigger. And uh, it will fill it out here in a second. I'll stream in these images. This is quite a bit of data being streamed. Um, but yeah, you can see nice details that this uh, this data set gives us well that's uh, that's about covers it for a quick demo of uh, cyber anatomy um, feel free to visit our YouTube channel and also feel free to visit our website at www.cyber-anatomy.com